In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an assignment with a new integrated Dropbox functionality. So just like before, you can add an assignment from either the calendar tab here. So I can click that and click add assignment, or I can also click on activities and add an assignment from this page as well. So I'm gonna go back to the calendar, click on add assignment, and let's create an assignment and we're gonna just call this one book sample assignment. I have the option if I wanted to add a rubric here as well, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put in my description. We have our due date just like we did before. So let's make that due Friday and we're going to put in a time. So we'll do 3 p.m. Now what you'll notice is there's this option here that says allow students to submit work online. So if you have that checked, that will allow students to click the hand in button that they see when they click the assignment title, and then they can submit any work uh, via Google Drive or by uploading an attachment. If you uncheck that option, students will not have that hand in button appear when they look at the assignment description uh, by clicking the title. So I'm gonna go ahead and click allow students to submit work online and we'll click save. Right, and now that should appear on our calendar. And if I was a student, I could go ahead and click this and they're gonna see a button here that says hand in, right? You as a teacher are going to see the option to view student work. And if we click that, of course, we're not gonna see anything because nothing's been handed in yet. But if the student who's enrolled in the course they happen to turn in the assignment, I would see that here now. So again, the functionality of the Dropbox has now been merged with assignments. And in order to view that, you can click on activities and you'll see your list of assignments right there uh, underneath that tab.